And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Alan Shoemaker. 6.42 here on this uh, Wednesday. I got it right this time. Wednesday morning across the valley. It is uh, just about as cool as yesterday. Very light winds, clear skies, and uh, I noticed on the sky cam, if you look off to the east, if you're driving, you see a little bright looking star thing in the east sky. I think uh, Venus is out there in the eastern sky this morning, and Mars too. It's your little, little astronomy lesson this morning off in the east sky. Uh, 58 in Wesleco, 59 in Harlingen, 61 in Brownsville, 51 though in Rio Grande City. It's a cool spot this morning like it was yesterday. Current winds very light, 0 to 5 miles per hour, just barely blowing. And uh, winds should stay pretty light again today, maybe 5 or 10 miles per hour most of the afternoon coming up. So not much of a wind blowing, but plenty of sunshine a shining. Uh, 59 at 8 a.m., 80 at noon, and around 84 at 5 p.m. Sunny skies, low humidity. Beautiful day on a scale of 1 to 10. It's at least a 9. Um, you know, there's always room for improvement, so we'll stop at 9. But a good looking day all around. And cool temperatures this morning, especially the farther west you are. Future track tries to show a few clouds around, which I think is a little overdone. But there might be a few thin high clouds at times near the coast or in the lower valley. But I think it's going to be really hard to see many clouds anywhere today. Sunshine and temperatures back in the 80s this afternoon. By tonight, though, the flow in the atmosphere comes more from the east, and that could pull in a couple of clouds later tonight, maybe more of a partly cloudy night, and gradually some higher humidity. Thursday is a day where, you know, it's not going to be as cool as the day, but not as hot and sticky as the weekend. So kind of an in-between day uh, where we end up, I think, partly sunny most of the day. You might catch one or two showers Thursday during the daytime or afternoon, especially over Cameron or Wilson counties. But I think it's, again, very low end chances for rain. You see on future track the showers mostly on the edge of the screen and offshore, but it's possible enough moisture may get inland for one or two quick little showers on Thursday. By Friday, though, it could be a little different. I think with more and more moisture coming in and a weak disturbance crossing the area, that could help lift up the air with maybe not all day rain, but really at any point during the day, there might be a shower just kind of popping up here and there and drifting along. So Friday, rain chances do come up to about 30%, as you see. Future track area is showing even more rain on the map at times. And then in the Friday night and Saturday, still there, you know, there might be a couple showers around for Friday night football. We'll have to see about that. But on Saturday during the day, I think rain chances kind of go down a little lower and then come back up on Sunday. Rainfall amounts, future track might be a little wetter than most computer models, but it shows on Friday. Nothing on Thursday, but on Friday in the Friday night, it does show some areas getting a good quarter of an inch or so and even some heavier amounts around an inch closer to the coast. So again, this might be a bit on the high side, but I think, you know, places will have a decent chance for a shower at times on Friday and a Friday night, but may not be quite that extreme. Uh, dry today, 10% chance for maybe a shower in the coastal counties tomorrow and then uh, mainly in the coastal counties, then about 30% chance for rain on Friday. So today, first one five forecast is looking very good again. Sunshine back around 84 this afternoon, very similar to yesterday's weather, just maybe like two degrees warmer or so, but light winds and the humidity stays down. Tonight down to 64 degrees with clear to partly cloudy skies, but the clouds may thicken a little bit toward the tail end of the night toward tomorrow morning. Thursday's a day when again, I think most every place dry, partly sunny and you know, maybe one or two little quick showers near the coast. Friday and then again Sunday are your better chances for rain, even then maybe about 30% or so. Friday, we start to warm up with higher humidity near 89, closer to 90 though over the weekend. A cold front is due here Sunday afternoon or evening. That could spark a shower or storm, but once it passes by Sunday night and Monday, we're back into sunshine and lower humidity again for next Monday and Tuesday. So we'll keep tracking the ups and downs here in your week and your first 1-5 forecast here on Channel 5 News.